trick-or-treating may look and feel a little different for thousands of people tonight taking part in the Halloween tradition in a brand new community. Well, sort of. As of today, the town of Madison no longer exists, which means people who once lived there suddenly live in a new city without even moving an inch. Andrew Banstra explains what differences those people will see and what they need to know right now. Andrew? The town of Madison existed before the city was founded and even before Wisconsin was a state. City leaders in Madison and Fitchburg intend to embrace the town's history and more importantly, its people who are their own. After years of planning and preparations, overnight the city of Madison welcomed 5,000 new people from the now defunct town of Madison. But as much will change, some already has. Building inspection, the fire department, and EMS since November 2020. So those services have been provided two years ago. Um, the police department started to provide service about a week ago. Plans to absorb the new town into Madison and Fitchburg go back nearly two decades. But with a big election in less than two weeks, where to vote is more important to those new residents. A big number of residents voted at the town hall facility. And as I said, that's not a polling place anymore. So I would suggest that every single resident from the town checks the website. But new and expanded services won't just come as a free perk for people transitioning to a new city. In Madison, they'll almost certainly need to pay more for them. But we know that most likely taxes will increase, mainly because the services that the city of Madison provides um, are more robust and comprehensive compared to the town. Madison and Fitchburg aren't just gaining more people, but a more diverse population as well, given the former town of Madison's makeup. Very diverse population compared to the city of Madison as a whole. So we have about 27% of the town of Madison residents are Latinx or Hispanics compared to the city, which is no more than 8%, right? Um, African Americans make up to 13% of the town of Madison population. It's a lot to process, but some big changes that city leaders in both communities assure are well thought out. Between the city of Fitchburg, the city of Madison, the town of Madison, there is a lot of logistics and work behind the scenes. So we have pretty much all city agencies working together collaboratively to make sure that the transition is smooth. The city of Madison is absorbing 90% of the remaining town of Madison land and 79% of the town's population of about 6,000 people. The rest will be attached to the city of Fitchburg.